body of nine year old boy reported missing from Irana Villa found. <laughs> Cabinet convenes under the auspices of the President. <laughs> Small and medium rice mill owners claim their business is in danger. Starting off with a look at your lead story this afternoon. The Cabinet of Ministers convened this morning under the auspices of President Maitri Pala Sirisena. The Cabinet meeting is taking place at the Presidential Secretariat. Our reporter on location confirmed that ministers, including Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, attended the Cabinet meeting. I want to more local news. Two train routes have been cancelled following a derailment between Kottava and Maharagama on the Kelni Valley tracks. The railway's control room said another maintenance unit has been dispatched from Colombo to place the derailed train back on track. An officer said a special train has been assigned to transport passengers until the operations are restored. He went on to say the trains coming from Avisavella and Paduka have been restricted to Kottava. In the first of two tragic cases reported today, the body of a nine-year-old boy who was reported missing two days ago from Iranavilla, Chilau, has been found in a jungle area. Nine-year-old Rosit Nirmal, a grade four student of the Iranavilla school, was first reported missing on Sunday. It is reported a person who was seen at the shop near the house of the victim had gifted an item to the boy and taken him away. The incident was recorded on CCTV cameras set up at the shop. Tamar Nami the high when can Kadega in the Latino. A in the lightning he had a ticket there, Capitan Maya Belwe, may he we may get in or get a bus, he warm up, he tea and a hagger. A he tea and a thing that my police regal entry at them in the eating hagger, tell you in a cup of tea, get the ravine. He pursued the Indale who were tapped to kiss Mar and Chiaki again, humbun in a hand there with a Kamar and Pasatamar, Lame Kavila, give him a cow, the man, the mama can a kia, a kakanagia, kira, kira, ganda kira. Rosit Nirmal was the third in the family of five living in Samidugama, Iranavilla. According to police, the man who was last seen with the boy had fled the area. Another nine-year-old child died of electrocution in the 40-acre area in Iranavilla, Chilau. The deceased was Dilika Geethanjana, a grade 5 student. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to some news from the political arena, State Minister for State Enterprise Development Lakshman Yapabe Wardhana remarked on the recent cabinet reshuffle at an event in Mathara. The President clearly stated that the cabinet reshuffle of the UNP was done according to their preference. He also said in the upcoming weeks there will be a cabinet reshuffle within the SLFP as well. We do not know how the president plans to go ahead with it. That is an order by the president, so therefore it will be fulfilled. Normally, according to this system, if the SLFP is to receive a ministerial portfolio, the UNP has to give one up. There has to be an exchange, because it is a matter of sharing the ministerial positions. Therefore, if one party wants a certain ministry, they have to trade another for it with the other party. That is an order by the president. <laughs> The Small and Medium Scale Rice Mill Owners Association raised serious grievances at a media briefing in Dambulla yesterday. Owners of small and medium scale rice mills are currently facing a crisis. The main reason for this is certain steps taken by banks and the decisions of this government and the previous government. We told the government that this tender system is wrong and urged the previous quota system to be implemented to bring back the Satosa. Small and medium scale rice mill owners need to store a stock of 10 tons of rice or 10,000 kilograms every six months because the harvest comes every six months. For this, the farmer has to take out loans amounting to about 100 million rupees. These finances cannot be obtained from one bank as there are not enough sureties. The loan has to be taken from two or three banks. We have to also sell our rice stocks on credit. 
A lot of farmers couldn't continue in 2013 and 2014. They sold off rice mills to be used as steel mills. Although we continued to function with the bond scam in 2015, the interest rates rose by 2.3%. By this, all businessmen had to pay interests of three to 400,000. This came to a point where we could not bear any more. Now, banks are asking for the entire amount. They are trying to throw us out on the street and acquire our assets. <laughs> Still in local news, a man was killed after being attacked with a machete and then thrown into the kid in the oil. The police said the incident had occurred after an altercation had taken place between two people over a land dispute. The deceased is a 53-year-old resident of Palmadulla. Police further noted investigations are underway to locate and apprehend the suspect who has fled the area. American jazz artists took Colombo by storm yesterday. This event was organized by the U.S. Embassy in Sri Lanka to celebrate 70 years of the island nation's independence. We leave you with footage from the streets of Kalamko. Thank you for joining us. For the News First team, I'm Charlotte Benedict.